Alright, so hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Yuna Pai. And so today, today is our wedding anniversary. Ika 11th wedding anniversary namin. 11th year wedding anniversary namin. And then, so, dahil, dahil wedding anniversary namin today, I will share to you kung paano kami nagkakilala. How I met my Korean husband. This is... I mean, this is so overrated, pero gagawin ko na lang yung vlog na ito na how I met my Korean husband. Okay, so I met my husband in Bacolod. Um, Doon kami nagkilala sa Sorento. It's, um, um, ano ba tawag? Parang restaurant siya sa Sorento. Name of the place. Basta sa second floor sa Sorento. Year 2009, maganda siyang place to hang out with your friends and have dinner, mag inom-inom ng konti, like that. So, doon ko siya nakilala, yung classmate ko nung college. I was with her and with her other friends and um, other Korean friends. And so, yun. So, I was eating, we were, eat, we were having fun and talking over dinner, tas biglang dumating ang asawa ko. And then, so, pag, uh, pagdating pa lang, parang nakita ko, wow, parang buffy, ang laki ng shoulders niya, parang, sabi ko, wow, parang, ano ha, hunk, parang ganun dating, so, ang laki ng, ano niya dito, broad shoulders, so, which I really like, <laughs> pumunta siya ng Pilipinas, he was there to study English, and so, we, ano, we talked, and, I'm very entertained kasi nga hindi naman siya super fluent in English but maka ano siya maka converse siya in English which is fun kasi nga ang dami na pinag-usapan natuwa ako na enjoy ako and natulig ako and then I really want to get to know him well tapos yun ang dami na pinag-usapan tapos basta kilikilig alam mo na <laughs> yan <laughs> ilang days ulit, bago kami ulit nagkita, kasi nga yun naman um, dinner na naman with, with friends and then, siguro mga naka tatlo three times or four times kami na nagkita, so the third time, I think um, the third time hindi ko na ma ano, maalala sorry yaba, pero parang third time na nag meet kami that's the time that he uh, secretly inanan niya yung phone niya sa akin. Lagay ko na yung phone number ko. So, syempre, kilig-kilig. Kasi before niyan, I was actually, I really wanted to ask his phone number. Tama ba? I really wanted to ask his, what's his phone number. Because, tama ba? Hindi ko maalala. Parang ganun niyan. I really wanted to text him and to get to know him. Parang ganyan. Kasi parang may spark. Parang ganun. Chow, spark. Tapos, binigay ko na yung phone number ko. And then after, ilang days ba yun? Five days. He texted me. He texted me. Be pero before that, parang sinabi ko sa friend ko na, Uy, ask mo naman yung boyfriend mo kung anong phone number niya. No? Hindi kaya kunin mo yung phone niya secretly. Tapos kunin mo yung number ni Sunny. Sunny kasi yung name niya. Pero hindi rin nagawa, hindi rin nangyari. Pero sige lang, okay lang, okay, fine. Until the day na yun na, hiningay yung phone number ko, binigay ko naman. And then after, I think, five days, he texted na, ano ba yung text niya? Wait lang, labo sa... Wow, what a sunshiny day. Something parang ganun. So, sa unknown, pag-check ko ganyan. Kasi yun text yung text niya. Pag-check ko ng ganyan, sabi ko, nag-English speaking. Sino ko yato? Sa, ano, I have a feeling na na siya ngayon. So, ano, with all honesty and, ano, tumalun talaga ako. I mean, like, yung jump ng super happy ka, super surprised ka. Oh my gosh, ang luha. Parang ganun. Parang, ano, ano, bakit ako may yak? Hmm. Bakit ba ako na iyak? Parang nakakatawa naman yun, di ba? Para yun, yun nga, overjoyed ako and kasi hinintay ko talaga yung text niya, Destiny. So, tenext niya ako and then tumalan ako and then 
No grupo de co. Cuñare, who's this? Me, I know you're pagan ganentan. We exchange text. Tapos, ano ba? Um, and then, after ilang days, we started dating. And then, yun, we started dating. We met April 20. And when I met him, heartbroken ako noon. So, tapos, basta marami pang nangyari because I, nung June, dumating siya, I think, February. Tapos, nung June doon, pumunta naman yung mga bayaw ko. Nag-tour sila si Agashi, si Kuya, tsaka si Hongnim, yung asawa ni Kuya. Pumunta sila ng, ano, Pilipinas. Huwag <laughs> ka na, ayaw ka na Basta yung pumunta sa Pilipinas. So, I mistakenly thought na, ano, na uwi na siya ng Korea. So, I cried. And, sinabi ko sa friend ko, uwi na siya ng Korea. Paano na? Heartbroken na nga ako. Nakilala ko siya. I was so happy. Parang nabuhay na uli ako. And then, he's leaving. Yun pala na misunderstood ko. Pupunta pala dito yung mga kapatid niya. So, there. Namit ko sila. And, ano, basta ang haba na story. At first, ayaw nila sa akin kasi nga foreigner. Anyways, all throughout their stay here. Their stay there pala. Sa, ano, sa Cebu. All throughout their stay there in the Philippines. They had fun. ba? Hindi naman kami nag, ano, island hopping. Parang nag, ano lang, nag beach hopping lang kami. <laughs> yes, nag beach hopping. Napunta kami ng Plantation Bay. Tapos, ano yung pinunta namin doon? Basta, ang saya. And I also have a, the worst experience doon sa Cebu. Pero ayaw ko na i-share. Pero, um, yun lang. <laughs> ayaw ko na i-share kasi, basta, basta overall, yun yun, yung story namin, how I met him, na, ano, I think it was meant to be. Actually, pumunta siya ng Pilipinas to get a golf license. An uh, ending marriage license nakuha niya, which is funny and which is true. And, yun. Basta, ang dami namin, ano, adventures doon. And, after noon, so we met April 20. Tapos, pumunta yung mga in-laws ko doon. Mga, kailan ba yun? Um, June. Tapos, we got married, ano, October. October 23, 2009. Today, only 11 years ago. <laughs> yun. So, yun, yun. Love story namin. Tapos ngayon, ano, kinasal kami doon sa, sa Bacolod. And, yes, kinasal kami doon. And, unfortunately, hindi nakapunta yung mga in-laws ko. So, kami lang. Yung fam ko and then siya. And then, when we, di ba October ako kinasal? So, pumunta ako ng Korea. 2010, January. Tapos dito naman ako pinasal ulit. Ang wedding naman is for the Saw family. Sa family ng asawa ko, sa side ng asawa ko. And, ayun, pinasal kami dito sa church niya, sa Songdo. Tapos nung dumating ako dito, dito kami tumira sa Songdo, sa doon, sa Pungling. And, yun. Tapos ngayon, dito ulit kami sa Songdo, di ba? Parang nakakatawa. And yes. And ano pa ba? Ano pang sasabihin ko? So, on my next vlog, siguro yun na yung, ano, yung surprise ko para sa asawa ko sa aming money anniversary. So, stay tuned. Keep on watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And like this video also. And ano pa ba? That's all. I hope you like, I hope you enjoyed my short story na medyo nag-emote ako. <laughs> wala naman dapat ika emote pero wala lang. Basta once you, ano, kasi, once you reminisce something, parang alive yung, ano, yung situation. Parang you're thinking of yourself on that situation again na masaya, na ganun. So, di ba nakaka-touch and yeah. i-upload ko to ngayon kahit ang mukha ko ay walang ka-makeup makeup kailangan ko na mag-prepare pala kasi may, may nandito na siya it's ano, ano na parang kita ko mga past 4 na 
5 kasi ang out niya. So, he's traveling from Seoul to Incheon. And I have to prepare. Doon ako pa magsuot ng handbook and mag-makeup. <laughs> Stay tuned, ha? Um, yes, watch out for my next video. Yung surprise ko. So, bye! Hi! Bye, bye! I thought it was better to wallow and swallow.